Okay, today we have some comic books. Uh, these are all auction fine and stuff. And this is the classic illustration. Uh, it was only 15 cents. And this was number 24. Now number uh, 59 is from 1949. So this to be 24 is a lot sooner. There's no date on it. Okay. And this is Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court by Mark Twain. Okay, it's a nice comic book. You can tell the age by looking at the pictures. And of course the age of the book itself. It was only 15 cents back then for a nice comic book like this. You never know what you're going to find at the auction. So there was a little pile of a few of these. So I got them. I thought it'd be something different to bring to my YouTube friends. Especially those of you who collect old comic books. Cover may be a little bit rough and stuff, but as you can see, the pages are really nice. Of course, I know condition, condition, condition is everything, but good condition on the inside. Through all the years of storing, it's a wonder. Fifteen cents is definitely not something you can buy today. They go for a pretty price now. Stuck being able to grab just one page there. It's quite the story, huh? Of course, you can always slow down the video so you can zoom in, catch all the catch all the story.
wasn't there. <gasps> One page missing. Oh. Well, that ruins the story. Oh, here's the page. Let's go back. Yes. Okay. There's the page. I'll flip it over. I was in hopes the page would still be around. This is the first time I'm going through this. There we go. Line it up right. There. Mm, that's terrible to have that wire happen. Just a good view of some of the old comic books. This one must be pretty close to being a hundred years old. Look at that. I always thought whenever they done the comments that we put the year on it and stuff. So I was really surprised to see this one not even having a, a date on it. But it was only number 24, so it was the beginning of time. a little bit on the rock cover. And this is the back. Yeah, absolutely no date. Number 24, but no date at all. 15 cents. Connecticut Yankee. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we have a few more to bring you. All right, bye-bye. Okay, this comic book is Withering Heights by Emily Bront. And of course, this is 15 cents, and this is number 59. Okay, now number 59, see, pretty good on the, on the sides and everything. Just a little bit right there. Seem to all be intact here. And this one does have a date of May of 1949. That's not, the other one didn't have that. Number 24 did not have a date. So I don't know how many of these they issued every year, but for the other one to be 24, it was quite a few years before that. All right. These are the casts.
lot of the books ended up making comic books after. Oh, this paper's a little bit thicker. Or it feels thicker anyhow. Trying to be careful, grabbing the corners in order to turn it. And they are old books. Trying to show you all the pages and stuff, so if you want to read some of it, you probably can just pause the video. Get in there and Put it on full screen, on the computer and stuff, and you can read the stories. Sometimes it's interesting to read old stories because they're worded differently as far as their language. Also by doing this it gives you a general idea of the condition of the magazine that helps any of you collectors out there. Funny how the illustration sometimes all by itself can uh, tell a story of what's going on. Jeez, catch them. See, back then, comic books were all made from the real books. Till the imagination grew.
beautiful illustrations, huh? Did such beautiful work. Not only is it a comic book, it's a work of art, really. History, art, literature. Here we go, 15 cents. There's only 15 cents each post paid. All right. Not bad, huh? For the year of it. People storing it and everything. All right. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this one to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. And if you wish, you may always fan find me. That's that little eye in the upper right hand corner. So I can get out there, find some more of these great finds, and bring it right to you in video form. Alright, bye bye now. Alright, here we are with the classic illustrated comic book. And this is comic book number 68 on Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. Okay, they took all the old books and turned them into comic books. You can see, not too bad for the cover, for the age and everything. This one here, as you can see, is 1950. Alright, now I'll take you right through this nice and slowly. So that if you want to, you can always just pause the video and read what it has to say. 
Okay, this also helps the uh, helps collectors, you know, to see the condition of the inside of the comic book. Sometimes it's just cool to see how they worded things back then. A lot of people just like looking at the pictures and stuff because pictures can tell a story too. And they do such a wonderful job at illustrating and they can actually get emotions. You can see emotions by their face uh, expressions and everything. So that helps to tell the story. It's not only just a comic book, but it's part of literature and history, because it's part of the real book. It's a comic form of the real book. And it's also a beautiful work of art. delicately trying to turn the pages. really nice to see all this. These are all auction finds. Got all of these at the auction. I have a few more so this will not be the last one. And of course you never know what I'm going to find next week. So, love going to the auction. It's a nice social time. Get to see a lot of beautiful antiques. Can't get them all though. All you can do is place your bid and hope yours ends up the winner. I'm always trying, of course. Oh, someone's grabbed two pages there. I wouldn't tell the story correctly now, would it?
must be hard sometimes to take a whole book and to cut it down into a comic book to small sections. That's what I thought of when I saw that big one right there. I was like, how do you tell the story in just a few words? It's like writing a synthesis to a, a screenplay. Kind of have to tell it without telling all and say it in a few words. Roman days. Oh my god, trying to get one page. Pretty cool to be able to see the magazine like this, huh? The comic book. It's always nice to be able to see without having to pay, right? <laughs> Good move. This is going back in history. That's an old one. Just find it funny the first ones, first video that I did did not have it a year on it. Which was magazine twenty four. The beginning of time, really. For the comics, turning good stories into comic books, to tell but not tell all. It's just another way of drawing interest into people wanting to read the book. A teaser. But this gives you the mental images, at least. Uh, so when you read the book, you mentally, you know, if you can't picture it all by the words, which a good book definitely draws a picture in your mind. But this helps to put a lot more reality into it when they did this. So it was a good move. I'm sure a very profitable one too. These are all part of an auction find. A nice little pile of them, and I got them. 
course you see a lot of things at the auction you'd like to get your hands on especially for me because I like doing the videos that's my niche <laughs> I have a video niche but you can't get them all then I also don't have a good general idea of what people would like to turn around and see. Um, I did ask that once and someone says, well, we want to see the antique toys. But you know, they're very expensive. <laughs> I started looking when they were doing auctions on some of those and it's like <gasps> the little metal toys and everything. I mean, some were still even in boxes, but the money they wanted was like, whoa. Okay, we got some really good time collectors fighting and bidding on this. And of course, I'm not in that lead. I'm just a simple little old lady. If I had some nice fan funding, <laughs> that's that little eye in the upper right hand corner. That might help me out a little bit more. <laughs> so if you want to, you can. It'd be appreciated, of course. Help me to find some more great vines. But right now, a lot of what I'm doing is taking uh, all kinds of little knickknacks and stuff from different auctions, uh, putting them all together and doing a video to help show people how going to auctions and yard sales and stuff, you can decorate your house real cheap. So, I think that should be a good TV show really combine all the auction finds and yard sale finds to decorate a home it's an economical way of dressing up your house and I think that would make a good series on TV alright there you go. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. And we'll bring you some more. So this one's really in pretty good shape. Pages are all there. Just a couple of little, you know, but that's part of wear and tear. Other than that, this one's in really good shape. Alright. Bye-bye now. Okay, here we have a cat, cat, classic, illustrated, number 70, pilot comic book. This one says, by Jane Cooper. Okay, the pilot. Looks like the pirates to me. Okay, as you can see, it's really in good shape. The binding is pretty good. And this is 1950. So to have it that good at 1950, you're doing pretty good here. Okay, have a bunch of tattoos there. You can order 10 comic issues of classic for only a dollar fifty. Oh yeah, that's the whole thing too. Look at this, 15 cents. Like a 1950, 15 cents for a comic book. The pilot. All right. Let me see if I can. Show you these pages here. If you want, you can just pause the video. Have it on full screen. Pause the video. And read it. Because it's not something you can buy anymore. So this was a good auction find. Actually been kept pretty well for 1950.
I love some of these old comic books. Quite the discussion. A lot of the pictures in itself tell the story. Of the expression. Oh, that's corner got curled. Open back up. I'll lay that back down. Oh, romance. Not too often that you find comic books at an auction, but you do come across a few every now and then. So, there happened to be five of them last week when I went, so I grabbed them. I put three of them up already. This is the fourth one. So for all of you who enjoy the old comic books, I hope you're enjoying this video. Just pause it and read, read what it says. I'm trying to get it all so that when you do pause it, you can read it. Of course, have it on full screen. That'll help you too. But as you can see, my going through the pages and stuff, really in good condition. For an old comic book. What's really cool about comic books? is because a lot of the comic books are from original books and stuff. So what's really nice is you get to, when you're reading it, you visualize it, but to read it in a comic book, you know, and to see the pictures kind of brings the book right to life and brings the images that you've created through reading books and stuff right to life in your mind. Like, wow, all right, that's the way they would dress. A lot of emotion in the, in the drawing. I mean, this is artwork. There's a lot that goes into this, especially back then in 1950. You know, not something that was done by computers. They didn't know about that yet. So this is all artwork. A lot of artwork for 15 cents, huh? You know, that's why, you know, some people, they look and they go, oh my God, the prices have gone up so, so much. But, you know, there's a lot of work to this. Back in those days, you know, this is more or less like a, a hobby, but yet it was a job. A lot of artwork. And they had to think about, okay, what's the perfect image to say what we need to say? What emotions did we want to bring out? You know, because, I mean, look at his eyes. The expression on his face. You know? That tells a lot. Words are word, but boy, those pictures. Whew.
a lot of expressions. A lot of pictures, huh? Very creative artwork. See how they have to do that? The fire, the shots being fired. They have to draw it right in midair. There's a lot more that goes into a comic book than most people realize. A lot of thinking of how to put a few words together to draw the picture. Of course, you can see the time period just by looking at how they're all dressed. Because this is a 1950 comic book. Look at that being held hostage and everything. It's a lot there. Oh, the corner's a little curled up. Gotta take care of that. If you notice, there are no water stains or anything in this comic book. Very good condition for 1950. I hope you're enjoying my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me. Join me as a friend. As we bring you some more old comic books. Camera's getting a little hot. So I don't know if it's going to shut itself off. 
So I do want to make sure that you join me as a friend. We can bring it all to you, we will. Quite a big comic book, really. They don't number the pages back then. They just put the story all together. that some more of the battle. See them all walking the plank by gunpoint. A lot of action goes into these comic books. Want to make sure you, you see it all. Ooh, a lot of writing there. This is a little bit of a story of the author, James Cooper. Wives of Windsor. Okay. Doug Heroes Tatter. A gentle protector. Greatest sculpture. And this is the end of the book. Well, it tells you all about them. Different ones they had, and this is the back cover. All right, so yay, we made it through without the camera shutting off. Hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. 1950, the pilot comic book. All right. Bye-bye now. Okay, here we have another comic book from 1954. It's How I Found Livingston by Henry Stanley. And back then, it only cost 15 cents for a comic book. 
All right, look at that picture. Wow. Really wild, huh? All right. Cover may be a little bit old. If you can see right here, it says January 1954. All kinds of good stuff here. Okay. So some good comics. Look at that. I mean, the pictures in itself tell a story. If you put this on full screen and stuff, you'll be able to stop the video so that you can read what it says. It's always nice to go through some of the old comments, see how they used to talk, see how they used to do their artwork. Because this is artwork. You know, because they had to put all the emotions into their drawings. See, it's all pretty good. It's not all water stained and stuff like that. It's just aged, that's all. These were auction finds. So whenever I can see some of the old ones I try to get. I did get some that were newer. But this particular day I ran across some old ones. You can tell that guy's got a headache. You don't have to read to see that. And that's what made for good comments. Because you had to be able to decide what your story is. But also in doing the drawings. You had to put the emotion. The look in their face to tell the story. To make a clear image of it all. In the mind of the reader. I mean, that's what makes a good story, anyhow. Is the imagination. show you so you can see the condition of all the pages but that you can also pause the video so you can read everything that went on this which is really cool because you know this isn't something you can gain back this is 1954 You know, a lot of these comic books can go for quite a bit. If you notice, the corners are all good in this comic book. The pages are not water stained. So it's very good. The only rough part is the cover. Look at the picture. Wow. You can see how wary that look is, huh? Mm, a lot to read on this one. Wow, 
of that face expression. I mean, you had to be a really good artist, not just being a comet writer, but it's the artwork that was just so beautiful. A lot of these comments were done off books and stuff. So you had to uh, kind of use your imagination when you read the book. But when you get it in comment, and you pretty well filled in what your imagination didn't. So that's what made the comic books gain their popularity at the very beginning of time. You can see, you know, the corners are all good. There's nothing wrong with these pages. Just a little rough cover. But that comes with storage of all these years. So if you know of comic book collectors and stuff like that, tune them in to this video so they can take a look. And some of my older ones that I've already put up, I've put up four more that were from the 40s. So it'd be nice for them to check some of them out too. And of course I'd appreciate, look at that, almost like human hands. That's something. I'd appreciate all the help. And of course, if you want to, you can always fan fund me. So when I do go to the auctions and stuff and find some more of these, I can bring them right to you in video form. So you can look back in history See how they wrote the comic books, how they did the expressions. Learn how they word it and everything. Especially if you're into wanting to start your own comic books. This could be very helpful. And this is where it all began, all the popularity for comic books. So sometimes you can learn from history. What made it grab so good is in the expressions and the way they worded everything too. That's if you're looking to do a business in comics. It is a very popular thing. There's a lot of money to be made this way. Oh, look at that. It smelt it. Ugh. Terrible, huh?
So I'm showing this not only so that you can read it and read history and how they done it and everything, but also so that collectors can see the condition of each page. You can tell by the changing of the color, you know, because it's, you know, there's the paper. And you can see the age of it all. Oops, I think i got two pages here. I sure do. You want to follow that story very good, would you? Okay. Oh my god, that's terrible. Oh, that's comic books. Can be rather violent, really. I'm trying to get the next page and two of them want to come together here. All right, here we go. Sorry about that. Let's start at the beginning here. That's quite the hair doing it. Look at that. Looks like a bird's nest. This is about some of the people.
Right, and this is the back cover. Alright. So yeah, as you can see, the only thing is the very edge right there. Still all attached. Just a little bit rough right there. Alright. I hope you've enjoyed my bringing this to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more. Great old auction find. Alright, bye-bye now.